Welcome to day one of our yoga mind body challenge. We're gonna do 14 days practicing yoga for 20 minutes a day, 14 days in a row, two weeks. Let's build the habit of stretching our muscles and connecting the mind with the body. Grab your yoga mat, kick off your shoes, and let's get started. All right, let's start today's class standing in mountain pose. Bring your feet about hip distance apart or even closer, big toes touching, small space between your heels. Roll your shoulders up, relax them down your back, palms face me, best posture. Tadasana, chin slightly tucked, and I want you to notice your breath here. In yoga, we call that your pranayama. It should be a little H-A sound in the back of the throat, a little constriction here. Soften up both of your knees. Relax your shoulders down. Here we go. Inhale, reach both arms up. And then exhale, fold. Hinge at your hips. Slide your hands down your thighs. We're going to come as far as you can comfortably. And then slide halfway back up. Lengthening the spine. Exhale, release. Put a bend in both knees like a tight little ball squat. And then roll yourself up like a rag doll, pushing through both feet. Your head comes up last. Restock everything. One more time. Inhale, stretch both arms up. Exhale, follow your breath down into the forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the back. Exhale, melt, tight ball squat. Bend your knees. Your heels can come up and then roll it up slow. Your head comes up last. Standing tall, Tadasana. So if you're not already at the top of your mat, go ahead and step to the top of the mat. We're gonna do a few sun salutations to bring some heat to this practice. Same way we started, reach up, inhale up, and then bow. Then half lift with the inhale. Hands to the floor, bending both knees, step or hop back to a plank. Palms are gonna be under the shoulders, elbows are soft, and triceps engaged. Hold here for another breath. Go ahead and melt both knees to the floor. And we're gonna do a couple push-ups to warm things up. On your inhale, come about halfway down. Exhale, push back up. Two more, inhale. Exhale, waking up the shoulders, last one. And then we'll hold the bottom here. So chaturanga, hover and hold. Allow your belly to melt to the floor. Reach your legs back, untuck your toes, tops of the feet to the ground. Pull those hands a little farther back and peel yourself up, baby cobra. Relax your neck, soften the neck, roll back down. Let's do one more cobra roll here. Maybe a little bit higher if your back's okay. Honor your spine on these back bends. Exhale, melt. Push into your hands, come on back. Child's pose. Take the hips to the heels, stretching those arms overhead. Breathe. Coming back to that pranayama. Little A chase down in the back of your throat. Shift yourself forward into all fours. Palms under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's do a cat cow, chin to chest, drop your tail. And then melt, cow, soften the belly down, lift up, look up, tuck your toes, and bring your knees up off the mat. Tailbone to the sky, downward facing dog. Let your head dangle. Heels are heavy. Stretch the back of the legs. And then really use all 10 finger pads to grab the mat so you have a strong grip. Good, rise up to your tippy toes, bend both knees, look at your hands, and then step to the top of the mat. Kind of finishing where we started, half lift. Exhale, release, root down through both legs. Let's rise up, big breath in, reach your arms overhead. Catch palm to palm, slide them to heart center. And let's do it again, maybe a little bit faster this time. Big breath in, follow that breath down. H-A breath, inhale halfway. Bend your knees, find the mat. You can hop or step back. Stay on your toes this time. Let's see if we can do one push up from the toes. Inhale, halfway down, and then exhale back up. Chaturanga, you can be on your knees if you'd like. So halfway down, hold, and then shift forward. Tops of the feet to the floor. Baby cobra, if your spine's a little grumpy. Mid cobra, or full cobra. Elbows stay soft, exhale to roll back down. Let's push up and back. Take a quick child's pose. Deep breath in as you shift forward into all fours. Slide your hands under the shoulders. Cat, chin to chest, look for your belly. Cow, melt it down. Tuck those toes, lift the knees up. Downward facing dog, move your hips back. Slide them to the back wall. Stretching the backs of the legs here. So we're starting to build a little heat so that your muscles are more pliable. 
Go ahead, come to your tippy toes. Bend both knees, look at your hands. You can step or hop to the top of the mat. Forward fold, come on up halfway, inhale. Exhale, release, root to rise. Let's come on up all the way to the top. Match your hands at heart center and pull them down. See if you can find your breath here for a moment. Rooting through both feet, standing tall, Tadasana. Good, I'm gonna have you pick up your left heel and roll your left knee, sorry, right knee open to the side. You can either prop your right heel on your ankle, or slide into your shin, or you can skip your knee joint, come into your inner thigh and test your balance here for a moment in tree pose. For those of you who wanna add a little flow, let's start to breathe, inhale, reach both arms up. Keep your palms together all the way to the top and then exhale, elbows back, cactus. Do it again, inhale, reach up. Smooth with your breath and exhale, pull down. Now you can keep your hands at your heart. One more. And pull it down. Beautiful. Bring those hands back to heart center. Pick up your right knee and float it to the front of your body here. So we're coming into standing staff. If you need to put your toe down, you can. Practicing our balance. Start to shift that right leg back. Tip toward the floor here. Coming into warrior three. So shifting towards parallel and I'll turn to the side so you can see. If it's available, stretch your arms either out to the side or overhead for that full warrior three pose. If not, keep hands at heart or hands on your standing leg. Slowly step your right foot to meet your left. Stand tall, <laughs> find your breath. A little march if you need it. Let's do side two. Start to lengthen everything up, stack the bones. Roll off of your left foot and rotate open. Tree pose. Choose your option. So it might just be into your heel, into the calf, or maybe above the knee. Sole the foot fully placed above the joint. Push your leg into your foot and your foot into your leg. And I'm getting some wobbling happening. I'm working. Let's add breath and movement. Inhale, both arms up. Palms stay together. Exhale, cactus the arms. Good. Do it again. Inhale, reach it up. Don't be afraid of hearing your breath. Exhale. It's calming for your nervous system. One more. And pull it down. And I shouldn't have wore socks. My foot is slipping. Go ahead and bring that foot to the front. Hands at heart center. Staff. See if you can try to transition here without tapping down. But you're welcome to tap if you need it. Start to send that left leg back as you tip forward to me. Warrior three. Reach the crown of the head forward. And all five toes of the standing leg are pushing down. You can have hands on the thigh for support, or you can consider arms to the sides or arms overhead. Back toe can touch the ground if you need it. Go ahead, the beer of Adrasana. Coming out of it, slowly step that left foot to meet your right, like you meant to. Take a little walk here. Go ahead and head back to the top of the mat. Inhale, both arms up, hold that number 11, and then sink down into chair, like you have an imaginary chair behind you. Lift up your chest. Thumbs work back. And then lower those fingers to the floor. Lift up your tail, drop your head. Maybe shake your head no, or nod your head yes. Halfway lift. Exhale, release. Hands find the floor. Step or hop back. Choose to skip the vinyasa if you'd like, or you can come forward of your wrists and lower any amount of back bend. Baby cobra, mid cobra, whew, got caught, full cobra, or even up dog, which is tops of the feet floating, uh, tops of the thighs floating off of the mat. Lower back down with control, melt like a wave into the mat, push up and back. Child's pose here for as long as you need. And I'm gonna fix my mic so I don't get tangled up like that again. And then this is your home base, by the way. Child's pose, you can stay here as long as you need. We'll shift our weight forward into table. Whenever you're ready, take one round of cat cow, arch like a Halloween cat, and then melt the belly down, lift up. Tuck those toes and pick up your knees, downward facing dog. Sit bones to the back of the room here, really stretch the back of the legs. Big toes close. Find your breath. Let's reach the right leg up, inhale three-legged dog, open the hip, bend the top knee, let that right foot fall like it's gonna hit you in the back of the head. Push into both hands, soften your elbows. 
shift the leg back up to the sky and we'll straighten out the hips. Draw that knee to your nose and step to the top of your mat. Aim for right next to your thumb. And then we'll swivel the back heel down to meet the floor. Heel to heel alignment for warrior one. Push down, rise up, arms to the sky. Bend deeply into your front knee. Get some challenge for those muscles. Try to hug the ribs together and stretch the back leg. We'll take it into humble warrior next. So reach your fingers behind your lower back. See if they can interlace. Drop the knuckles, open the chest, expand, heart lift. Stay here or start to bow. Bringing your heart, your ribs, and your shoulder to the inside of your front knee. Letting your head relax down and your arms fall up and over the head. Should feel nice for your shoulders. Release those hands to the floor on either side of your foot. Pick up your back heel and step back, plank pose. You can skip the vinyasa, you can go straight to down dog, or you can join me shifting forward. Any amount of cobra, up dog, or something in between. Feel free to go to child's pose like we have so far in this class, or you can just roll through your feet and pike your hips up and go straight into down dog. That takes a little more core. Let's meet in downward facing dog, big toes touch. Left leg to the sky, inhale, open that left hip, bend your left knee, stretch the hip flexor and quad, keep your arms engaged. Good, let's kick that leg back up to the sky, squaring up your hips, draw your left knee to your nose and step high, high, high up the mat, aim by your thumb, swivel the back heel down, line them up, heel to heel, balance beam, push down, rise up, warrior one on your other side. See if you can sink a little lower in that lunge. Press into the outer edge of the back foot. So we're just doing sort of some straight namaskars with like some variations. Let's add our humble warrior. Reach your fingers behind your lower back. Take the more unusual interlace. So the one that doesn't want to be on top. Drop the knuckles. Open the chest. Stretch the pecs. Open the heart. Stay here or you can start to bow. Allowing your ribs to melt to the inside of your thigh. Slowly let that shoulder head touch to your knee. Head drops down, arms hang up and over. You can release that at any time, whenever you need to. Otherwise, we will meet on the mat here. Lift up your back heel, hands frame your front foot. Step back, plank. Skip this or join me in a vinyasa. Shifting forward of your wrists. Any amount of back bend. You can roll through your feet, pike your hips up. Or you can push up and back, child's pose. We'll meet in down dog, you know what to do. Tuck those toes, lift those hips. Stretch the heels for the floor. Let's do a little pedaling here. So just alternate one heel and bend the opposite knee. Switch. And then see if you can reconnect to your breath. So you know that was a pretty active flow. Good, let's go ahead and walk our way up to the top of the mat. So just like you're doing a little walk up the mat, and feet come close. We're gonna end with that chair. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, release, sink down into your chair. Feet are nice and narrow, reach your ribs up off your thighs. Thumbs come up, lower an inch. Go ahead, push down into both legs, root to rise, a little back bend at the top. And then bring your hands to heart. Excellent work, yogis. Take one breath in here. And then on the exhale, catch your right wrist with your left fingers and just tug it over to the side. Bump those hips away. Create a nice side stretch here. Excellent. Push through your feet. Return to center and switch. Catch your left wrist. Tug it to the, uh, to the opposite direction and bump those hips to the left. Breathe into your left lung. Should feel really nice. Excellent, push through both feet, return to center, release those hands down by your sides and roll the shoulders out. Just notice that heat that's buzzing around your body right now. Deep breath in, let it go. Okay, and we're just gonna melt here. So separate your feet a little bit wider, slide down the fronts of your thighs for ragdoll hang, put a good bend in your knees and rest your rib cage on top of your thighs. Slowly catch opposite elbow with opposite hand. Let your forehead dangle down to your forearms. And then if it feels okay, you can have the option here to sway. And sway right and left, stretching out the back. A little bit of inverted work. Good, we'll take the fingertips to the floor. 
halfway lift, lengthen out the spine or to the shins or to the blocks, right? You choose. Come back down, bend those knees pretty generously and step yourself back to a plank. We're gonna try a sidearm balance here. So go ahead and step your right hand to the center of the mat, lower your right knee and kick your right ankle out 45. Roll to the inner edge of your left foot and reach your left arm up and see how this feels. If this feels easy, consider stepping your right foot back out and holding side plank. Oh, and we'll lower the knee if you have it up. Go ahead and set it back down. Use your core musculature to lift up. Take the whole torso up off of that right hand. And then we're going to side stretch. Gate pose. The other hand just lightly taps the shin. Come on back down to where you started, sort of like you're swimming. Take that other arm cartwheel up and over. Pick up your heels. Tuck those toes back to plank. Strong core. We're going to do the other side, testing out the abdominals. Lower. Or first, bring your left hand to the middle and then lower your left knee. Kick out your left ankle to the side and we'll roll to your right heel. The inside of the foot finds the floor and the right arm reaches up. Standing tall. Now, if this feels like an option, you can go ahead and step your bottom leg out to the long and take that full side arm balance. Go ahead, and then we're going to counter stretch it here. Lower your left knee if you did pick it up. And then use your torso muscles, unwind. Reach up through the left arm, right hand taps the shin or the thigh. Gate pulse. Slow release, swim back down, one, one arm and then the other. Tuck the right toes and then the left. Find that plank pose once more, strong core. Pike the hips up, down dog, walk those heels in if you need to. Let your head dangle. Bending through both knees, allow your hips to find your heels, child's pose. There's an opportunity to roll your wrists out and open, close your hands a little bit. Blood into those wrists. Good, shift it forward into all fours. We're threading the needle next. So standing on your right arm once more from all fours, stretch your left arm up, twist through your thoracic spine, thread the needle, so under the right armpit. Take the knuckles, the shoulder, and the head and face the other direction. So if there's a lot of pressure in your neck, you sit back into your knees more. If it feels pretty comfy, reach your right arm up to the top of the mat. And just a little twist and a little stretch for the shoulder. Good, plant your right hand by your face, come back up, do a nice twist to finish it off. Lower, left hand to the floor, create your tabletop position. We'll twist the other way. Stretch the right arm up, try to look at it, and then slowly thread the needle under the left armpit. Let your ear and shoulder rest, and then take note to kind of do some inventory. If you need to shift back into your knees, you can, or you could walk that left hand to the top of the mat. So honor your body, it might not be the same on both sides, and that's okay. Slowly step the left hand back underneath your shoulder, push down, rise up, twist to finish it off. Lower. Go ahead and cross your ankles over behind you and roll back. Now if that transition doesn't feel good for you, you can just kick your feet around and meet me in Sukhasana. And let's take the right ankle and cross it in front of the left. Rock side to side, get on your sit bones here. Inhale, reach both arms up. And twist to the right first. So reach your right hand behind you. Left hand catches your opposite thigh. Pick up your heart. Look behind. So these are just going to be quick little yoga flows. Slowly undo that twist. Stretch up for the next two weeks. Twist the other way. Just 20 minutes of yoga poses, yoga flowing. Look behind you here to get your body moving in different ways. Slowly unwind and we'll fold forward. Walk your hands to me, bow your heart to your shins, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Because they're very quick yoga, yoga, uh, yoga flows, yoga asanas, we won't take super long at the end. A traditional hour long yoga class, we would do a five minute shavasana. Because this is a short yoga class, I'm gonna give you the option to pause the video and do a shavasana. Come back up and let's switch the crossing of the legs. Rock back and left in front of right. So you can do a little sit bone find here as you rock side to side. Stretch both arms up. This time take your right hand to the floor. Walk those fingers out and then lean to the right. Stretch your left ribs to the sky. Open the heart. Press that left hip down. 
We're going to use those same waist muscles that we use to come out of side plank to come back up from the side stretch, both arms to the sky, and then take left hand to the floor. Walk those fingers out and start to side stretch here, really open the ribs, laterally flexing the spine. Good, coming back up, using those same muscles to lift off, we'll take our fold forward. So just start to walk your hands forward over your shins, melt your head, melt your forehead. Now these yoga classes would be a great addition to any workout program that you're currently doing or any of my other videos on the channel. Just an opportunity to kind of connect, to notice how you're feeling in your body and to just notice your breath. Come back up. We're gonna sit tall with a comfortable spine, resting hands on thighs, rolling the shoulders down your back. A deep breath in here and close your eyes for a moment. Receive the benefit you came here for. And if you have time, this is your opportunity to pause the video and head to a Shavasana of your choice. Start to flutter the eyes back open, a few blinks in the eyelids. The movement was so good for the body, but stillness is so good for your mind. So make sure you take some time to be still today. Reach both arms up, match your hands without even looking. Draw the thumbs to your heart center. Prayer mudra. The light in me respects and salutes the light in all of you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today for day one of our Yoga Fit Challenge. Please let me know in the comments if you did this short little class with me with a done or an emoji. I appreciate you. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.